don't get mad. This is the no mad challenge. <laughs> we are Lone Wanderer. We're very underweight, and we have lots of traits which make us great for a nomadic run. That fairness, though. But we've got time. So, over time, we can get more fit. The main thing is that we have mechanics, because we need to keep this bus alive. But unfortunately, if we look under the hood, some things we just cannot do. We're not high enough level to maintain the engine. A lot of these require higher maintenance and tools, which we do not have. Not even a screwdriver do we have right now. And we also have these tuning parts, which allow us to put protection and extra storage on the bus. Which requires a pipe wrench. So we need to find about five tools, I'd say, among other things. We are currently freezing, so let's head inside. And inside, the two items that I get to start with are my journal and a pen. So let's head into the back. Check out our living space for this run. And let's plan. So I don't think I can sit on these, unfortunately. We'll need to get a sledgehammer to knock these out. In the meantime, we'll just sit on the ground. And... Not place. Right, I always do that. Right. One thing... I don't know... Why? <laughs> okay. How does our story start? When... Hope faded... And civilization... That's not how you spell civilization. Civilization crumbled. I decided it was time to leave Kentucky. Hopefully, far away in distant lands, there are people who have been more fortunate than us. And this is the beginning of our story. So let's have a look at our map and plan out our route. So we have the whole map available to us. And this is where we start, right here. Now when I tried this challenge last, I would always go here to this gas station first because we don't have much fuel. And we also have this little bit here that we could contend with. But as Zombie pop is already at its peak. It's quite difficult. There's a lot of zombies there. And while we could go to the gas station, since it's on the route, no matter which direction we go. So we will mark it down. It's still risky. Because we don't have a weapon yet. So our plan of action, we have to go down this road. And there will be zombies on there, unfortunately. So we have to go this way. This is a great place to set up our first camp, and we can raid this pretty desolate neighbourhood. It might even be worth it to just go straight there, because this can just be a bit of a risk before we get a weapon. So I think we will go here, so it means taking our first left, and our third right. So... The aptly name, we all live in a yellow uh, school bus. And I missed the L. <laughs> I don't think it would have let me fit it. We have just under a quarter a tank of fuel. Almost one eighth. And we cannot repair this bus. So we have to be careful. Well, we got very far. Why can't I pick you up? I wonder what that was all about. So now we can remove this little roadblock. So if I remember correctly, it's our first... L oh, we're going right first, actually. So it's first right, and then third right. And I am actually going to cruise it pretty slow. Oh, actually, I'm completely forgetting something that I needed to do. So let's turn the engine off. 
I want to start this challenge by finding something to use as a weapon. So we're going to do some foraging. Uh, we may even spend the night here, but with our current stats, it could be a struggle. So let's focus on finding stones. Perfect. That's pretty lucky. A chipped stone would be nice, but we can make a chipped stone from two stones. Might as well search on the other side of the bus. Okay. Now, how about some firewood? It is actually nearly night time, so it would perhaps be best for us to sleep outdoors for tonight. Just have to make sure there's no zombies about, because they do spawn on this road. There's our first zombie. We'll make our way over to him. Shame I can't just use the rock. But we do need sheets, so may as well. Good day, ma'am. You have a tool in you. What could that be? Screwdriver. We need that. Hell, I mean, all of this is quite nice. So we'll take these shoes. They're better than our sneakers. This ranger... None of this is really worth taking. We'll take the socks just in case we end up needing them for whatever reason. Cool. So there's just a little bit for us. You never know when it comes in handy. Oh, okay, there we have another zombie. Wow. And look at that. So we can now see the time. It's the 1st of November, and it's nearly half seven. So you, my friend, do you have anything useful for us? No. We will take all of the clothing. Now, did you have any more friends? Yes, one more. Wow. This, uh, this strength is really, really working out for us. So again, nothing particularly useful. Oh, here we go. What's this? Another stone. Chip stone. Perfect. We can make an axe out of that. And that will make our foraging more sustainable. So he has a letter opener. I don't think we can do anything with that. This jacket. Now this will be interesting. Let's take a look at our temperature. Even though it's, it's just rags at this point. Yeah, it doesn't really help. But we might as well wear it, despite all the holes. It's just a little bit. Yeah, see, we're getting hot. Darkness is setting in fast. So we are pretty ineffective at this point. So we'll just head back. And it looks like we'll be sleeping the night here. Now, supposedly, the internal electrics work off the battery. So I have to keep an eye on this battery charge. And potentially even it works on the gas supply, or petrol. So currently we do not have any storage in here. We can sleep on these though, which is nice. Let's see if we can make anything. Uh, what we can do, craft two sheet ropes, find a sheet and we can make a makeshift backpack until we find one. So I don't want to be out during the night time so let's take a look at what we can do here we can tailor the fitness the exercises that we do so that we don't get fatigue on a body part that we need so squats fatigue felt on legs movement speed is something that we don't really need we'll be fine without movement speed push-ups will reduce arms which we do need sit-ups general fatigue. Not sure about that one, and burpees are all over, so we won't do that one. We will start off with a nice 60 minutes of squats. Ah, there we are. The only downside to this is that we'll get more thirsty, and we don't have a water supply currently. And as they say, the first two, the prerequisite, ah, oh, how, how do you put it? The first three, the three survival things that you need, shelter, water, and then food. I'm sure there's another one, but... Water is the second option. We have shelter. Water is... You can die within a day or two without water. So we need to be aware of that. Especially if you're exerting yourself. 
And that will be day one. And look at that, wow. So because of the traits that we've picked, we get a 75% boost to our fitness. And also, we have a, a mod which kind of rebalances fitness, so it's a lot easier to get to level 5. So there we are, we can sleep. Sweet dreams. Okay, 6.50am. That's good. It will probably still be dark outside, though. Let's have a look. Shouldn't have left that on overnight. And we are parched. So we are on the precipice of starvation. Sorry, we are on the precipice of death. We will start taking damage very shortly. Ah, there we go. Okay, we are on a time limit now. So let's go. Let's see, are we... We're not fatigued yet, but we will be. So I am going to stop at this body. I think there was a body down here that had a sock on him. In fact, between these two, there will definitely be. So while we are on a time limit, we should be okay. So we want to craft two shoot ropes. Now, can we craft using the stuff in this container? Or do we need to take it out? Sheet back. Perfect. There we are. Now we have a little bit of space. Not much. Only eight. And I don't think it gives much reduction. But it's better than nothing. So back into the main seat. I always forget to do that. And away we go. 30 miles an hour, because we don't want to risk damaging this thing. Maybe even 25. I just have to, I just have to slow down, because I tend to take things way too fast. Just keep an eye out for zombies. Hitting zombies is not really something that we want to do. And speaking of car damage, we need metalworking to repair things like the hood. So we need to be on the lookout for metalworking supplies and metalworking books. Each of these little zombie hits is doing little bits of damage which add up over time that we really need to avoid. And this thing turns, well, like a bus. Like a fully loaded, ever given ship. Or evergreen. Okay, first hurdle in the, well, second hurdle in the road, really. Um, how to do this without taking loads of damage on the car? The vehicle. Well, we're going to have to just take this one on the chin. Maybe even have a quick look inside this back. It's locked. Okay. And I always forget that you have to get in the seat. There we go. So, now we are pretty much right on the line of 1.8 fuel. We do have a gas can in the back, and then that's it. That's all we got. Here we go. That's one. Look at this thing. It turns so slowly. So here's the gas station, and in fact, because we're diet, we're a dehydrated. I do think we just need to nip in here, get into the bathroom and get out. That is more zombies than I'd like them. So we'll take this back here and we're going to have to do some running and shouting. And we are not fit so we will lose fatigue so fast. And uh, it's boarded up but it's got... well the door's been broken down so... And we are on slow shamblers, but big enough numbers, they will get you. Oh, shoot. Water bottle. Perfect. Anything else we can quickly take? Pop. Oh, amazing. We can get our weight up a little bit with that. Anything in these? Don't think so. Cigarettes. That's amazing. Right, let's get it. Oh, no, they're getting stuck on that. So maybe we can take this garbage bag as well. Anything in this corner? Nope. Okay, let's get out of here. It's a trip. It's fine. And a limp. Okay. Let's get that water bottle in our main inventory. Please? Okay, there we go. And of course... Let's 
go ahead and rip our socks. Always the socks. Trying to lure them away from the vehicle to give us just a little bit more time. We can use trees to really slow them down. So if you put a tree between you and them, that'll give you a good advantage. So forests, if you're careful, are always your friend. So as long as I don't make any noise over here, they're going to slow right down. That might just give us enough time. Not quite. So put trees between us. Try not to touch the trees yourself. And look at that. Distance has been created. Keep the trees between you. Keep the trees between you. And now we can bandage. Hopefully that will mean we can go a little bit faster. There we go. And that's enough to get us home. Not a great start. Pretty unlucky on that trip, I guess, because our fitness is so low and we're so underweight. Because underweight increases your chance of tripping by a good amount. Not sure how much, but it's a lot. But we have staved off the inevitable for now. We've got a good few supplies for now. So, we're going to look at our calories as well. We've got minus 600. Let's see if it's worth it to eat now. 1,600 times 2, well, 1,700, so that would be 3,400, 3, that would be enough to get us into the weight gain range, so I'm going to eat these right now. Not too worried about hunger. Uh, third right, 1, 2, where does that one go actually? Second one, we are gaining weight, so uh, we'll actually cancel that. So we ate a little bit of it there. We've got 600 calories to play with before we start no longer gaining weight, and we want to really minimax it. So this next turn is ours. Ooh, okay, we might be able to loot this. Yes, we can. Okay, can we open this? Do we have a screwdriver? Perfect. Battery might come in handy later. Empty gas can will definitely come in handy. In fact, it might even come in handy right now. So, yep, there we go. So, how many? Just the one? Two, three? I don't know how much damage a screwdriver does, but we are strong, so we can push a lot of these guys over very easily and stomp them out. So there's one down, two down. The zombie is standing on that one. Here we go. One down. Stomp this guy real quick. Now we can push this one over. Easy. Now that is the benefit of having a strong character over a fit character. So this, I think, is better insulation, so we'll go ahead and take that. Now can we get a jacket? That's the main thing. Replace our socks. No, doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe I should get into a habit. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should get into a habit of turning the engine off whenever I stop if there's no zombies around. We do need to save that gas. But let's see how much we can get here. Oh, we drank that entire bottle of water? Okay. Yikes. So, just a few dregs, but that is more than zero. Uh, nothing in this one? No. But it's there, and I think that's all that matters, really. And there we are. We have the ability to smoke. Look at that. Slowly getting on top of things. Now that is a good find. We have replacement wheel. Always good to carry a spare. So it really is worth stopping at these. Getting as much as you can, really. Obviously we don't need four spare tires, but it's just very good to have them. So we'll go ahead and favorite these. I would like to always have these sorts of things on me at all times. So we have two gas cans with just over half. I thought that was full actually, so we're a little bit worse for wear. Let's take a quick look at the van. I'm going to call it every name under the sun. I'm terrible. So we've already lost 6% on our hood just from driving down the road. Let's take a look at our muffler. It's an average muff muffler. Our engine quality is 100, so that's great actually, but it is a very loud engine. 
350 horsepower, so it's quite slow. The battery, 100% remaining, so the engine has been on. Not much else to say about it, really. Tires have just begun to start taking some damage. But all is well. So, if I remember correctly, this neighbourhood is pretty quiet. A lot of the buildings have been abandoned. There is some speculation as to why it might be. For instance, uh, the factory shutting down nearby um, so the people lost their jobs. Or there could be something more sinister, like that factory. Okay. You hear that alarm? Let's stop at the end of the road and we'll walk in. Let's not risk it. Ah, okay. We have an event here. This could give us some tools that we desperately need. Yep, so off he goes. Floodlights. And we don't have a generator, so I won't take that. Empty bucket might be nice in an emergency. Duffel bag. Very good. So I'm going to equip that with secondary. This can all go in there. And now, part of being... Part of having a nomadic lifestyle is not carrying unnecessary items. We could definitely use it, but it's not useful. Toolbox, however, that can be good for storing some tools in. So this lead pipe can be our new weapon. And we need to check two things here. The glove box, some safety goggles, some extra matches. And let's check if it has any fuel. It does not. So, it's still early in the day, and we had no house alarm. So let's mark down our route. We came down this way, and we had an alarm. And also, I will mark that as done. So let's see what's happening here. In fact, let's do it right. Let's put our stuff away in the van. We'll just chuck it in the back for now. So we'll favourite this. Is there anything else we want to keep on us? As lightweight as possible. Actually, I've just noticed something. Let's preemptively combine these. I think you can. Then we have a gas can we can take with us. So we are going to need to pinch any gas we can find. Got the bottle on us? Yes, we do. So we can fill that up as we go. Electricity and water are off at this point. Okay, let's test out our pipe. Okay, those are nice for us to have. We'll make some sheet ropes. There we go. That hard hat might just stop us losing a little bit of heat on our head. So here we go. First abandoned house. Some squatters need to be evicted. Sorry sir, your lease has run out. We could make a rain collector. But, I don't see any much point. We're not going to be staying still, so we can't really benefit from that. We can benefit, however, from some good old-fashioned sink water. Now, this is the kind of challenge where Don't Feed the Zombies does work, because we're always moving. Alright then, let's see what this thing can do. Oop. Really utilise that strength. Very good. Now apparently there's a car around here, so I'll take that. And replacement boots. Sweater. All the insulation is going to be good. It's only going to get colder. I imagine we will finish this challenge before summer. Although, it's not so much a challenge as it is just an experience, I guess. I wanted something that would be a little easier for us. Something that I don't have to stress about constantly. Now that's in perfect condition. Now all we need is a jacket, really. An antique oven. That is perfect for us. That is uh, 
Just about. Ah, no, sir. Just about the only thing that we can put in the bus that wouldn't put us at risk. So, gonna mark that. And while we're at it, we'll mark this one. Perfect. Good day, sir. You have been evicted. Okay. We're gonna have to just take that one. And see where we are. Oh, wow. Uh, ripped our jacket off of us. Okay, well, we can only hope... Oh, I'm in a sheet robot accident. Yeah, we can only hope that that wasn't too bad for us. And we'll replace this one. Maybe stop it from getting infected. Oh, really? We didn't get any more clean racks. Okay. I suppose ripping from a zombie is never really clean, is it? There we go. Infected. Great. So hopefully we can find some antibiotics. Uh, nothing like underwear to put on your infected wound. There we go. Okay, on we go. Okay. Without that jacket, we were actually getting cold there. Leather jacket? In perfect condition. Very lucky. Did we... Just wondering if anything else got damaged in that scuffle. Jeans are fine. Shirt got a little bit of damage. That shirt. I don't know what slot that's taking up. Maybe the best slot? Uh, okay, our hand... Is that our right? It's our left forearm, but for some reason we're swinging very slow. So we're not very effective. Anything for us here? Lots of rubbish piles. We could get lucky, who knows? Could take that piano, <laughs> if we had the tools. Ah, this one must just fail. I wonder if this is the one we had got the key for. That house actually looks quite nice. It's a shame that it's... I mean, that looks like one of the ones which is not derelict. It's still okay. Uh, one of the few people who stuck it out here. I think I was talking about a potential chemical leak from the factory above. Toilet paper. Very good if we get a cold. And any petrol? Does not seem so. Yeah, so I've heard stories about factories leaking chemicals into the ground and people having to move, having entire fields be decontaminated of various toxic chemicals which just seep into the groundwater and such. Now this is all speculation, and it's just my speculation. So we actually have some stock here. Another empty bottle, until we get some form of water that's going to be very good. Traps. Interesting. We can take those if we had a hammer. Oh, no we can't. We're not taking the trap there. That's a shame. Oh. Okay, let's see. Cage traps. I'm not sure I've ever used those. And we'll take this radio too. Nails. Very good. Um, I'm not sure we'll get any use out of these. The metal sheets, perhaps. And can we make anything out of this? Make a 2x4 as a weapon. Make a drill plank to start fires, but we already have matches. Um, it might be worth taking back, just to see if we can craft anything with it. Nope, that's not what I wanted, you fool. Yeah, we've got the space for it. We can drop it if we have to. I'm not sure how useful trapping will be. It might be useful to set up traps whenever we first enter a town or something. Then we can check them on the way out. Well, I can't go in there now, unfortunately. Oh, 
Oh, a real bandage. Let's go ahead and put that on our foot. Ooh, make a stip trap. That's very good. Um, mechanics for level 3 to 4. Well, level 4, so don't need that. Very good. Now, the one good thing about using blunt weapons is it doesn't damage the clothing that zombies are wearing. We'll take these, because we will most likely have to be fighting a bit of depression. Fanny pack? Ah! Uh, I'm going to take it. But I feel like I never really get any use out of them. And another trap. Okay. So I will have to figure out what these traps can be used for. Because there's no way we're getting things like carrots... So, I don't know if we'd be able to trap. We have to see what else we can use to trap with. And with the slow pace we've been taking, it's taken us six hours just to get this far. I could speed things up, but there's no real need. We're taking things slow, we're doing it right. Here, one after us. It's fine. I think he's actually just given up on us. Nothing here. More cigarettes. We are finding a lot of cigarettes. 78 cigarettes. We found 80 so far. That is more than I've found, like, in my multiplayer server. <laughs> Good day, ma'am. Sweet dreams. Okay. Oh, this one's been burned down. Completely burned down. Wow. Not sure I've ever seen that before. And that was the last house, I think. Good night, sir. Oh wow, you're a tough one. Uh, this will... No, we've already got one. Okay. What will this replace? Full condition? It is in full condition. I will survive As long as I know how to forage I know I will survive I've got all of Louisville to travel, got all of Kentucky in my head, but I'm not dead. I won't give up until I'm dead. Now our antique oven was in here. So let's dump our stuff in here for the time being. Let's put the fanny pack in there because it just feels like empty weight almost of the time. It doesn't give you much weight reduction. So I just find it's one of those things that I always do and I'm always heavy as a character. I can never seem to not be heavy. So already the zombies are coming in. This zombie, no idea where they were. I've already cleared this area out. Now please let me pick this up. I need a hammer. Okay. Wood stove. So we've been here. And we've been there. Time to set up shop for the night. And now we don't necessarily only get one night per place. Uh, I think I will limit ourselves to seven days. But really, it's a loose challenge. We're not being very strict with ourselves. Yeah, and now I do not really want to kill any zombies up here because I'm going to be sleeping here for at least one night. Yeah, see, even the factory's for sale. So there is some kind of story here. It is the... What's the name? CGE Corp. So I'll park this here for now. And I need to get to a habit of turning the engine off. Actually, what did I just say? Don't kill zombies here. So... I don't really like parking on this side because you can't see the door. We don't really have much choice. We don't have any better weapons yet, do we? Nope. Uh, we might be able to make something with this now. Nope. We need a tree branch. So let's get these zombies before bedtime. Look how slow they are. See, 
they might seem like they don't pose a threat, but they pose a different kind of challenge because they don't do what you want them to do. Fast shamblers are easy to manage, easy to corral, easy to predict. These guys, they just lose interest in random places, they don't follow you very fast. When they get close, they do. So if you look at the speed difference, he's going nearly three times as fast, maybe. So it's incredibly hard to manage groups of them. Yeah, some injury is stopping us from doing damage. And we will actually clear the corpses from the road, prevent some of that tire damage. Now there are most likely more zombies that only got attracted to that first honk. Or maybe even it's still walking down, or I've completely forgotten about us. So, we'll see how many zombies are up there. Might have to do a loop around the back. Okay, these guys... Okay, uh, quite a few of you. Definitely not doing enough damage. Yeah, definitely need to get the habit of turning my engine off. But luckily, we are strong. So we can go one, two, and we can just keep doing that. Ah, they're getting stuck on the van. That's great. Just don't get cocky. We have all the time in the world. Well, we don't. We have until we get tired, which we're, we're getting there, but until then, we're okay. Very good. Done behind us. Well, this way. Hmm. thought there was one in the trees. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Always, I keep forgetting to switch. <laughs> Holding W, like, why aren't I moving? Probably some more here, where I honked the first time. Two. Okay, let's let these guys down. Okay, this time I've learned my lesson. Ah, this tree is in the worst position. One, two. Should be two coming from there as well. Three, four, they may be the ones that were up there. Do not like having this tree here. Yep, there's one coming through that tree. Ah. We're fine. We've got a big one. This has messed with my flow. Just that one zombie from behind. They are dead. We should be close. Yikes. Oh, I'm taking a few risks here. Oh. Oh. See? Yep. Don't know what it is about these guys. Ah, we don't need to bandage that right now, but... Yeah. It's our left hand, it shouldn't be affecting our swing. So we can definitely take these guys. Um, pipe's getting down there. Getting back to the fence. They will naturally spread themselves out because some of them will be lunging. Oh, that is... That's a lot. Where have they all come from? That is Don't Feed the Zombies for you, I think. Yep. yep. Those zombies did not exist in the world before now. But I was honking my horn. Get out of there. Okay, um... We can just continue to do this for as long as we need. 
Pops through the window. That's uh, that. Check our exit. Good. I think. I hope. Come on then. Ah, that's not good. Please. Ah, we're getting tired. Not the floor by it. That's... Get you over, and then we can rest a little. Sir. Sir, I am nine strength. Thank you. We just need to rest a little. Or in fact, why? Just slow them away. Back to the bus. We don't even need to run, but I'm going to anyway. The bodies have attracted them to the bus. Okay. At least the bodies are here and not out there. Okay, they're getting stuck on the bus. At least they're not on the other side of the bus though, that's the main thing. I have this level of energy for a little while. So we're going to have to do the big loop. A big old loop. Go into the woods and uh, may as well do some foraging while we're adding, right? Okay, we're here. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, my poor hood. Just have to do that sometimes. Now there is a specific thing I want to do here. Is oh boy, where did you guys come from? Okay, we're we're gonna find a different spot to sleep tonight. We'll have to come back in the morning. Can we go across here? We might just be able to sleep in the woods here. Though this thing does not do well off-road. Here we go. A little bit camping in the woods in our van. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's deal with these wounds. That is no longer useful. Let's see if we can just drop it on the floor. Ah, we're gonna have to lose our socks again. <laughs> Always the socks. I don't think they'd have heard us. Let's get that heat run. Have to sort our stuff in the morning. Okay, the uh, temperature is not rising. Putting on full blast. There's no windows open or anything. Five. Yeah, it's getting really cold. Uh, so let's retreat into the back. Wait, well, it will naturally be warmer in here, but we do have the heat run full blast. Ah, so. First two days, huh? 